Another five minute mystery. I've got some mighty unpleasant news for you, Mr. Barron. Carter Hogue, the high school principal, has been murdered. What? I'll have to ask you to come down to the office for a few minutes. Uh, I'd like to ask you some questions. Of course, Constable. I'll be right over. Constable, this is all a tremendous shock to me. Not only was Carter Hogue my colleague at the school, but one of my best friends as well. I know, Mr. Barron. It's been a shock to us all. How did it happen? Well, as far as I know, someone crept in through the window of Hogue's house and struck him over the head as he sat in his study. Any clues? Not a one. What I wanted to ask you was if you have any idea as to who could have had a motive for killing him. The only thing I can think of is the threat made by Darrell Lewis's father when he found out that Carter had hit his son. Oh, you heard about that. Bad business hitting that boy. I was there when it happened. The boy provoked the incident by his surly behavior, but it was unfortunate that Carter lost his temper. Well, that's the only clue I have, so I called Mr. Lewis on the phone right after you. You ought to be here any minute. This all seems like a horrible dream, Constable. You can count on me to help in any way I can. Thank you, Mr. Byrne. I will. Come in. Good evening, Constable. I'm Darrell Lewis's father. Well, come in, please. Any idea why I sent for you? Eh, a little. You must have heard about the threat I made to the principal when I found out he hit my kid. Uh, that was a dangerous thing to say. I lost my head. Hogue had no right to lay a hand on my kid. Mr. Lewis, Carter Hogue is dead. Murdered. Dead. Now, 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 see here. I know what you're thinking, but and you're dead wrong. I'm innocent. You're protesting your innocence rather loudly, Mr. Lewis. Now, look here, Mr. Barron. I'm not the polished gentleman you are, but I can still protect the rights. Doesn't look good for you, my friend. When you threaten to kill a man and then two days later he's murdered, it's more than coincidence. You better close your mouth, teacher, or I'll do it for you. Then perhaps I'd better. I don't want to have you sneaking up on me and smashing in my skull with a bookend like you did to poor Carter Hogue. Why, you dirty... Easy there, Mr. Lewis, easy. You stop this cross-examining, Baron. There'll be plenty of time for it in the courtroom at your trial. What? You kill Carter Hogue and I can prove it. How does Constable Ed Chevers know that Sam Barron is the murderer of Carter Hogue? In just a moment, we'll know. And now, back to our story. Unfortunately for you, Mr. Barron, in your attempt to pin the murder on Mr. Lewis here, you became too dramatic in describing the scene and the action. How did you know that Hogue had been struck with a bookend? I didn't tell you, and you hadn't seen the body. Only the man who committed the murder could have known what the weapon was. You protested Mr. Lewis's guilt too loudly, Mr. Barron. You only proved him innocent. 